God chose you for the mission because you will stand out and not a stand in. You will never fit in. Shout out to the WTC game. We still chosen if they ask her. Welcome to that three peat. Welcome to that Shaq and Kobe three peat. I need everybody to please stay tuned to the very end of this video. As a matter of fact, I need everybody to share this video right now. God chose you for the mission, chosen ones. He chose you, right? You, not your family, not your brother, not your sister, not your cousins, not your nieces, nieces, not your nephews. God chose you for the mission. And the only reason why he chose you for the mission is because you will stand out and not a stand in. You will never fit in. You stick out like a sore thumb. You are the light surrounded by darkness. This is why he chose you. He handpicked you out of a crowd, intentionally choosing you because he see the light. He know you got the light. He know you different. You're, you're, you were raised under a different cloth. You have a different demeanor about you. You have a different glow up. You have a different vibe, a different spirit about you. This is why he chose you to represent him. Understand what I'm saying? And you would never, ever fit into that dark world out there. You would never fit into them dark forces out there. Be ye separate. Come out from amongst them. This is why the Bible says, let your light shine so bright before men. Because the, the Bible even knows, God already knows, there's going to be some dark people out there. Let your light shine so bright, you will stand out. Stop trying to fit in because you'll never fit in. Even when we try to fit in, it looks, it, it feels weird. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> I feel weird. You know, everybody's standing around, hanging out, doing their thing. And you see them doing this and doing that, right? And, and you know you're not really feeling the energy. You're not feeling the conversation. You ain't feeling the vibe. Hey, Amen. They looking at you. They can't stand you. And you standing there with your hand in your pocket. And, mm -hmm, how you doing, huh, Ryan? Mm -hmm, how you doing, my Ryan? You know you don't feel right. You know you, you shouldn't be there. You know you don't fit in. You will stand out. But then again, there's some people that, that do still hang around. Amen. Family members and friends or whatever the case may be. They know they then graduated to the next level of their life. So this is how they know they just stand out when they send around people that don't like them. They just as humble and calm. How you doing? I'm blessing yourself. All right. Good. Good to see you. All right. Very observant. They know they just stand out. They by themselves. You'd be surprised, man. I, I used to be at all kind of family reunions, all kind of weddings. And guess what? I feel like I'm in a room by myself. Because I'm a stand out and not a stand in. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I am the stand out. You just a stand in. Tell your enemies they just a stand in. <laughs> Tell your enemies I would never fit in. You can't be a part of the chosen or the chosen game. You can't be a part of the WTC game. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. There's a lot of people that's going to try to come in to your life. Just to try to fit in with you. It don't got to be the other way around. It's going to be some people that's going to try to fit in with you. Thinking they got the gift. <laughs> thinking they got the, the calling. Thinking they got the anointing. Y'all better be ready because this is going to be the three-peat of the year. There's going to be some people that's going to try to fit into your circle. Nah. I'm the standout. You the stand in. Stay over there. <laughs> I'm just the standout. You just the stand in. And I'm not trying to brag anything like that, but I got people, amen, certain people that they want to join the program, but then guess what? You realize, hey, I'm a standout and you a stand in. You know, there's some people out there that are really, really chosen, amen, I don't talk to them personally, but certain people, guess what? Just like the last partner, you a stand out, brother. I mean, I'm a stand out, you just a stand in. You trying to fit in. And you'd be surprised how many people was really trying to like, man, just come at me, just negatively, foully, whatever you want to call it. 
just coming out, out at me, lashing out at me because you know why? I am the standout. You just a stand in. I'm trying to help you out, brother. And they know who they are. So back to what I was saying, chosen ones. When you sign up for my WTC mentor program, I'm guess what? I'm expecting you to be a standout. I'm not expecting you to be a stand-in. When you sign up for the WTC mentor program, guess what? We're destined for greatness, not mediocre, not mediocre. I'm not selling for mediocre. I'm tired of that. I'm destined for greatness. I'm going to push you towards greatness. You got to be ready when you join the WTC Midtown program. Don't come in. Uh, so what is your gift? Uh, what is your calling? Uh, uh, understand what I'm saying? I need somebody that's going to be a standout. This is my calling. This is my purpose. This is my gift. I, I'm ready for it, Jordan the Chosen Ones. I'm glad I signed your program, and I'm getting ready to take off like a skyrocket because I am a standout, and they ain't nothing but a stand-in. So back to what I was saying in the beginning. God chose you to draw men unto him because you a standout. He know you're going to pull them in. He's going to draw them in. That's why he chose you. He know you got the gift to draw them all in. He know you got the anointing to bring them in. You would never fit in. They can't stand your ass anyway. Take your time and enjoy this life. And enjoy being the standout. And enjoy your Joseph moment right now. You got the coat. You got the coat. What are you doing trying to fit in? What are you doing trying to follow when God clearly made you to lead? Don't be afraid to put a comes below and say, I am a leader. I lead by example. I'm God's leader. I'm leading for Jesus. So I pray that you guys will be careful out here in these streets. And I pray that you guys will be careful of the company that you keep around. Because everybody, guess what? They're not going to be happy for you being a standout. They want to blot out your light. They want to dim your light. Because they are standing. They're trying to fit in. You can't fit in. You ain't chosen. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say you can't fit in. Because you ain't chosen. And don't forget, chosen ones, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation, if you need inspiration, chosen ones, you already know you got the greatest motivational speaker in the whole wide world and your boy. Be ready for the live tonight because I got some content really burning up. I got some fire that's shut up in my bones getting ready to let out tonight. Be ready for more content tonight. It's going down tonight. And I see y'all on the other side. Be blessed.